Ken from Make Tech here. I'm just going to do a quick video for Fusion 360. We're looking at deriving parameters from one design to another, which is a really useful and powerful feature. Uh, it could solve a lot of problems. So for this one, we've got uh, whole features in here. To do a whole feature, the extruded circle must be smaller than the whole diameter that you want to have. So it's almost like a bug that Fusion has really, but we'll accommodate that with this uh, little hack. So if I go into the sketch here, you can see that says 11.9 and we've got that plus whole size modifier variable in there. How I've brought that in is from planning ahead. We do a design here and there's nothing in the design other than this user parameter. So this can be derived into as many designs as you want. You just have to have it as a favorite. Once we've done that, go in here, I've got this derive feature. So edit derive. There's not another thing in there except for the parameters favorites. So we say okay to that. And now in the parameters in this, we need to, you do need to favorite the derived parameters and then that will allow you to use it in that design. Okay, so in this design, as I showed in the sketch there, we've got that whole feature. And so that will allow us to now retain the information in this sketch of what the hole size we actually want to be. So we want it to be a 12 mil hole, but we're modifying it with this variable by reducing it by, we can reduce it by one millimeter or 0.1 millimeter or something like that. And then the really great thing about Fusion 360 is we can, in the drawings, have a whole table. So if you insert the whole table, it'll pick up all these here. So to insert a whole table, just go down to tables and whole table and auto generates all that information for us. So there you go, that was a quick tip. Hopefully you found that useful. And yeah, I'll leave it there. Cheers, bye.